This video is sponsored by soundraw.io. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Glitch Text. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a frame rate of 30. Also, my duration is 10 seconds. Let's keep it 5 seconds longer, and then hit OK. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I'm calling it the background. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it to the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the noise type to block, and then change the contrast value to 150. Also, change the brightness value to negative 50. And this is how it look. Now open transform, and change the scale value to 20. Right now, it looks like noise, but we will make it better. Change the complexity value to 1, and it will create some mosaic effect. Then again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the find edges. Place it right below the fractal noise, and then click on this invert option, to get this boxy look. Let's change the opacity value to 10%, so that it won't grab all the focus from the design. Right now, we don't have any animation applied to it, so let's add some animation to it. Press and hold the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard, and then click on this evolution stopwatch icon, to add an expression. In this expression area, type, time, star, 30. And it will start animating. Right now, the movement is a bit slow, so let's change the value to 300 instead. Check the animation, and it is looking much better. I'm also changing the opacity value to 5, because it is looking a bit bright. Nice. Now, you can also import your audio into this project, so that you can mix it up with your text animation. Now there is a very good website for creating the audio for your logo intro, as well as the video. The website I am talking about is called SoundRaw. Go to the soundraw.io. Right here at the top, we have the mood section. Simply choose a mood for your music. I am going to choose exciting. Right next to it, we have the video theme section. Such as vlog, corporate, games and more. Now choose a genre, or style for the music. There are a bunch of styles available to choose from. Right next to it we have the length option. You can choose up to 5 minutes of length, or a minimum 10 seconds duration. The 10 seconds duration can be the best fit for your logo intro. Then choose the details, such as the tempo, or the instrument. You are free to use anything you want. Now click on create music, and the AI will generate some amazing music, as per your selection. You can play any music from here, download it, or even edit. Just click on this edit this music button, and now you can see the best part of it. You can customize any aspect of this music, such as length, BPM, instrument, key, or even the volume of any specific track. You can also turn on, and off any specific instrument from here. Let's change the duration of this music, and then click on these individual sections to remove, or add any specific instrument. This is really customizable. Let's see how it works real time.
If you are happy with the result, you can download the music right away. They have a free, as well as paid version. You can also choose a 7 days trial. Click on the first link in the description, and start generating your music today. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Please note, I'm using this Valorant font, which you can download from the link in the description. Now click on the composition screen, and start adding your text. Let's keep this letter. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Let's change the text size value to 350 pixels, and then align your text into the center once again. We are going to add some animation to this text. So select this text layer, and I am calling it the letter B. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it letter B. And then hit OK. Now make sure to select your text layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. In case you are using some different font that has some curves, you can check this Roto Bezier option, for adding curves to it. But I am using a sharp font, so I'm going to keep it off. Now zoom in a little, and start creating a path right inside your text. And this is what my path looks like. Now press M to open the mask, and then change the mask to none. It will fix the mask issue. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the stroke. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. Change the paint style to reveal original image, and then increases the brush size to a higher number. Let's keep the value 25 for now. Also, increase the brush hardness value to 100%. Now I'm changing the brush size value to 30. If you switch to paint style on the original image, you can actually see your brush is covering the whole letter. Let's switch back to the reveal original image, and now we will use this end for animating this text. Right now, the stroke animation is starting from a different point, and I want it to start from here. So select this vertex, right click on it, go to the mask and shape path, and choose set first vertex. Now the stroke animation will start from this point. Nice. At some points, you can see the stroke is creating some artifact. Which you can fix very easily. Just select that specific anchor point, and move your arrow up or down, to avoid this artifact. Fit it 100%, then go to the first frame, and change the end value to 0%. Now add a keyframe on it. Then go to the 1 second position, and change the end value to 100%. And this is what the text animation will look like. Not bad. Now press U, to reveal all keyframes. Select the end keyframe, and press F9 to easy ease. Check the animation once again, and it is looking much smoother. Let's minimize this layer, and then rename it as the letter B reveal. Now make a duplicate of it, and call it the letter B glitch. Again, press U to reveal all keyframes, then go to around 2 frame position, and then add a keyframe on the start. Now go to around 2 seconds further from the last end keyframe, and change the start value to 100%. Let's hide this bottom layer for now, and the text animation will look like this. Now I can see more of these artifacts, but we don't need to worry about it. It won't appear in the final result. Let's add some glitches. Select the top layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the mosaic. Place it right below the stroke effect, and change the horizontal block value to 40, as well as the vertical block value to 40. And it will add these nice blocks to the stroke. Not bad. Now we need to link the vertical blocks with the horizontal blocks. So instead of changing the value of both sections, 
we will use the horizontal, for changing the values for both sections. We can do it very easily. Just press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and then click on the vertical block stopwatch icon. Now in the timeline, grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the horizontal blocks. Now the values are linked. If you change the value of the horizontal block, the vertical blocks will update the values automatically. Let's change the value to 50, and this is how it looks. But as you can see, these blocks are not square. They look rectangular. Now we have the solution for it. Just divide the expression by 2. I'm adding slash 2, at the end of this expression. And it will fix this problem. Let's change the horizontal block value to 100, to make the blocks tiny. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the find edges. Place it right below the mosaic effect, and then click on this invert option to get this look. This is looking nice. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Let's go to around 15 frames position, and I'm changing the horizontal box value to 50, to get the big blocks. Now make a duplicate of this glitch layer, and change the value of the horizontal block to 100. It will create some tiny blocks. Right now, they both are moving at the same speed, so I'm grabbing the top layer, and placing it just 4 to 5 frames forward. So that it will follow the bottom layer. Now make one more duplicate of it, and call it the letter B glitch electric. Select these bottom layers, and place them to the right. Now place this electric layer in the beginning. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Place it right below the find edges, and then change the amount value to 300. As well as the size value to 10. It will create these electric looking edges. Now, Change the anti-aliasing for the best quality to high. And this is how it looks. Let's turn on the bottom layer, and then align it to the right. I think I need to minimize all layers, so that I can see the starting position of each layer. Now select this bottom layer, and place it to the right at this position. And this is how the text looks now. Now select the top layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am going to place it just a few frames to the right. And then changing the amount value to 400. Also, I'm keeping the size value of 5. And here we have some dynamic look. Let's adjust the position of this text layer and we are ready to move to the next step. Let's go to the 2 second position, and press N, to set the end comp area. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Now we are adding some glitches to this animation. So go to the effects and the presets, and search for the VR digital glitch. Now select all layers, except the letter B reveal and then double click on the VR digital glitch effect, to apply it on all selected layers. As you can see, we have created some nice looking glitches. I'm going with the default setting. In case you want to change the color of this text, you can simply open the letter B reveal composition, select your text layer, and change the color of it. You are free to use any color you want, and it will update the color into the main composition. Let's undo it now, I will change the color later. Let's do some color adjustment first. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it CC, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow. Place it onto the layer, and I'm going with the default one. Now select the glow effect, and make a duplicate of it. This time, Increase the glow radius value to 500. 
it will create a nice looking glow. You can turn on and off this effect, to see the changes. Now I'm going to create the transition. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it transition. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC lens. Place it onto the layer, and then we will use the size for making the transition. Let's keep the size value to zero. Then go to the first frame position, and then add a keyframe on the size. Then move around one second position, and change the size value to 350. Now press U, to reveal all keyframes. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. If required, adjust the timings, as well as the colors. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.